All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 18 minus 9. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 2 to the power of 18 as 2 to the power of 9 times 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 9 times 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2 minus 9 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 2. Now, if I have something in form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is 2 to the power of 9, and b is 3. So I have 2 to the power of 9 plus 3 times 2 to the power of 9 minus 3. And if you guys already didn't know, 2 to the power of 9, that's 512. So I'm doing 512 plus 3 times 512 minus 3. Now 512 plus 3, that's 515. 512 minus 3, this is 509. So I have 515 times 509. And you may be tempted to use a calculator to multiply these two, but actually we're going to use a trick to solve this using paper. So first off, 515, I'm going to get this as 500 plus 15. And the reason I did this is because 500, well, it's easy to multiply multiples of 100. So 509, I'm also going to rate this as 500 plus 9. And now, as you see, if we cross multiply, I'm multiplying 500 with these terms, and 500 is a multiple of 100, so it's really easy to know the answer. So I have 500 times 500, which is 500 squared. 500 times 9 plus, now if I distribute 15, I have 15 times 500 plus 15 times 9. So first off, 500 squared, that's 250,000, plus 500 times 9, that's going to be 4,500, plus 15 times 500, that's going to be 7,500, and plus 15 times 9, that's going to be 135. Now... 4,500 plus 7,500, that's 12,000. So I have 250,000 plus 12,000 plus 135, which is equal to 262,135. All right, so in this problem, I have 16 to the power of x is equal to 32. So to solve this, well, I actually have multiple different methods. So my first method, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I have log 16 to the power of x is equal to log 32. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move my exponent b to the front. So this is equal to b times log a. So for log 16 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 16, which is equal to log 32. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by log 16. So these two cancel out, and I have x is equal to log 32 over log 16. Now, log 32, that's the same thing as log 2 to the power of 5. Log 16, that's the same thing as log 2 to the power of 4. Now, remember, if I have something in form log a to the power of b, I can move my exponent to the front. So now I have 5 times log 2 over 4 times log 2. Now these two log 2s can cancel out, so I'm left with x equals 5 over 4. Now for my second method, I have 16 to the power of x equals 32 again. And this time I'm going to rewrite 16 as 2 to the power of 4. So I have 2 to the power of 4 to the power of x is equal to 32, and we are as 2 to the power of 5. So now this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4x is equal to 2 to the power of 5, meaning 4x is equal to 5, and x is equal to 5 over 4. So that is my second method. Alright, so in this problem, I have 40 to the power of 40 over 100 to the power of 20. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite 40 here as 2 times 20. 
So now I have 40 to the power of 2 times 20 over 100 to the power of 20. And this is the same thing as if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So I have 40 to the power of 2 times 20, so this can be written as 40 to the power of 2 to the power of 20. Now I have this over 100 to the power of 20. And 40 to the power of 2, that's going to be 1,600. So now I have 1,600 to the power of 20 over 100 to the power of 20. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 1,600 to the power of 20 over 100 to the power of 20. That's going to be 1,600 over 100 to the power of 20. And 1,600 over 100, that's going to be 16. So I have 16 to the power of 20. And 16, that's the same thing as 4 to the power of 2. So I have 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 20, which is 4 to the power of 40. And now 4, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 40, which is equal to 2 to the power of 80. Now I actually have a second method of solving this problem. So again, I first start with 40 to the power of 40 over 100 to the power of 20. Now this time, I'm going to rewrite 40 to the power of 40 as 40 to the power of 20 plus 20. Now I have this over 100 to the power of 20. And now this is the same thing as 40 to the power of 20 times 40 to the power of 20 over 100 to the power of 20, which is the same thing as 40 to the power of 20 times 40 to the power of 20 over 100 to the power of 20, which is equal to 40 to the power of 20 times 2 over 5 to the power of 20. And this is equal to 40 times 2 over 5 to the power of 20. 40 times 2 over 5, well, 40 times 2, that's 80. And 80 divided by 5 is 16. So I have 16 to the power of 20, which is equal to 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 20, which is equal to 2 to the power of 80. So that is my second method.